What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net. You know me better as DroidModerX. Today I'm going to show you guys how to keep your root when you update your Droid 4 to the latest over-the-air version. Um, obviously, if you accept the over-the-air update, it's going to take away your root. Uh, so any, anyways, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to maintain your root via an application called Voodoo Over-the-Air Root Keeper. Whoa, we were way out of focus there for a second. Alright, so we'll just go to the market. And we will download the Voodoo Over the Air Root Keeper application. Let's see. So we're just searching for Voodoo Over the Air. So just search Voodoo, V O O D O O O T A. We'll go ahead and install that. Of course, you already need to be rooted. And if you'll check this channel, uh, we already have some tutorials of how to root your droid 4. So anyhow we'll go ahead and open this. We'll allow root access and we'll just select protect root. Okay so now we have our root backed up and we'll just go to settings about phone whoops about phone and you see that I'm on the previous version the 6.13.215 and we want to update or I'm sorry the 6.5.1 uh, where, where's the build number at here there it is okay so the 6.13.215 I believe the latest update is dot 219 so we're gonna go to system updates and we'll go ahead and download this update hopefully this won't take forever if it does we will pause and come back Seems to be downloading pretty quickly, so if you'd like to fast forward through this download, go right ahead. Once this downloads, we're going to go ahead and update our phone to the latest build. And then all we'll have to do is go back into the market and download that application again. And then just reapply our route. Pretty cool app. It makes maintaining your route very simple, very easy. So it's not very clear whether or not Motofill will root the latest version of uh, the Droid 4 firmware. It may very well, uh, but might as well be on the safe side here and just maintain your route. I have not read where Motofill works. I have read where the Root Keeper works. So we'll go ahead and install now. So this is going to power down our phone and install the update. And this should take us about 5 to 10 minutes here. So uh, I'll keep the camera rolling. And if you get bored, you can just fast forward. And I wouldn't put, put it past you. Okay, so it's now installing the update. So fingers crossed that the Voodoo over the air root keeper will work. So, uh, something that came out earlier today was the fastboot files for the Droid 4, which is our safety net. So, uh, for the past several months, this I guess this phone's been out now for about three or four months, we've not had the fastboot files uh, to flash this back to stock in case we encountered a boot loop or a soft brick. Those files are now available, so you need to uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and keep your eyes peeled out, because within the next week, I will do a tutorial on how to... Uh, flash the fastboot file to recover your phone to stock and unbrick it. This is taking long enough that I'm just going to go ahead and pause here and we'll come back as soon as this update is finished installing. Okay so that update actually took about 15 minutes so I'm glad that we paused. Uh, so it has rebooted. As soon as this reboots we'll head back to the market and re-download that application and restore our root. We just give it a second to boot all the way up. It did just install the update, so this boot may take longer than normal because we're essentially booting into the system for the first time. So just give it a few minutes, up to 10 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't take that long for the sake of the video.
But like I was saying before, that FXZ, the fast boot file for restoring the stock in case you brick is awesome to have. That really opens up a lot of opportunity for developers who have been wary of this phone up until now uh, because there was no safety net. So in other words, the only ROMs that they could develop for this phone would have been safe strap ROMs. Uh, but now they will have freedom to, um, to go ahead and develop system ROMs that can just be flashed directly over the system. So that really does free up a lot for themers and ROM developers because we'll have a safety net. They won't have to worry about us bricking our phones if something doesn't go right. Okay, so we're about to be booted up here. And here we are. So we'll go into, just to show you guys that we've updated We'll go into settings and go back to about phone. And the system version is now 6.13.219 as you see there. So now we need to head back to the Play Store and we're searching for Voodoo over the air. Unless it's already installed. Maybe it's installed because I don't guess it wiped data. Okay, it's already installed. So, okay, so we will just find that in our app drawer and all we have to do now is just restore root it says root su restored so now we'll just go back to our app drawer let's uh, go to the root checker and make sure that we still have root okay congratulations this device has root access uh, so guys you have successfully maintained root through your over-the-air update, uh, thanks to Voodoo over-the-air root keeper. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, of course, you can find me at droidforums.net, where I'll be posting news articles on a pretty much daily basis on the front page there. I do write for Droid Forums. Uh, you'll see awesome articles by uh, David Storm, as well as Chris Serial killer and several others that are uh, awesome writers of course you can find more andrew tutorials at this channel so just click on that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it it helps us out a lot and uh, i'll see you guys in the forums thanks for watching